Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the lead code question flatten a multi-level doubly linked list. Okay, so we're given a doubly linked list which has a, a pointer to the next node and to the previous node but it could also have children pointers. So uh, these children pointers could be pointing to other doubly linked lists. So our task is to take these multi-level doubly linked lists and then we need to flatten them. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, so this is the linked list that we're given for example and let's see how we can uh, flatten out this multi-level linked list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement a stack in order to do this and we're gonna uh, iterate through our linked list. So first we're gonna go to the first, uh, to the head and we're going to look to see if it has any children nodes. So it doesn't, so we're going to leave it. Neither does uh, the next node, but once we get to three, we have a, a children node, a child node. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to take this part and put it inside of our stack. Simultaneously, we're going to point the next node for three to seven, and seven's previous node is going to point to three. So let's see how this actually looks like. All right, so after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next node, seven. So seven also doesn't have any children nodes, but once we reach to eight, we have a child node again. So we're gonna perform the same thing. So we're gonna make the pointer, the next pointer for eight is gonna become 10. And the previous pointer for 10 is going to become 8. And what we're going to do is we're going to take everything to the right of 8. So 9 and null. We're going to take that and put that inside of our stack. So let's move that again and see how our linked list is going to change. As it is right now, we have a flat uh, linked list. But we don't have all the elements in it. So we're just going to keep going. So we already accounted for 8. 10 also doesn't have any children nodes, neither does 11, and obviously null doesn't. So after we reach the end of our linked list so far, what we're going to do, since we did not account for all of our elements in the linked list yet, yet what we're going to do is, once we reach this end, we're going to start popping out the elements inside of our stack. So first we're going to pop out whatever is in the last index. So we're going to pop this out, and we're going to add it to our linked list. So since I don't have space, I'm just going to continue adding it from here. So 9 and then null. And similarly, after we pop this out, then we're going to pop this element. So 4, 5, and then null. So again, what we're, uh, what's going to happen is we're going to keep going through all of the nodes. So this doesn't have children nodes, and none of them have children nodes. And once we reach the end, and our stack is empty, so in that case, we'll be done making our multi-level linked list into a single leveled one. Okay, so first we're going to initialize our stack as an empty list. And we're going to also store our head value inside of a temporary variable. So I'm just, so just going to call our temporary variable start. And that's going to hold the value of the head. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to go inside of a while loop. So while head exists... And so while the value of head is not equal to none, and what we're going to do is each time we iterate through our while loop, we're going to change the value of head to the, net, to the next node. So head equals to head.next. Now we also need to add a few things before that. So first we got to check if that node has any children nodes. Children nodes. So we can do that by doing if head.child. So if a child node exists, we're going to go inside of this if loop. And we're also going to check if there are any elements after, so if head.next exists. So if head.next, and in that case, what we're going to do is, we're going to add that to our stack. So stack.append head.next. And one more thing we have to do, we're going to change head.next value to that of the child. So head.child and head.next value, a previous value, since it's a doubly linked list, we also need to 
take care of the previous uh, pointer is going to just be the head. And finally, currently, head.child has a value. But uh, in this case, since we're flattening it out, we're going to change that to none. Okay, and now one more thing we need to check for is we need to check if uh, we are at the ending of our linked list. So to do that, if now we need to check if we're at the ending of our linked list. So to do that, what we're going to do is if head.next is equal to none. So that means we're at, so we're at the ending. And if, and if the length of stack is not equal to zero. So what that means in that case is we reached the ending and now we need to add the elements inside of our stack and add it back onto our linked list. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're head.next is going to have the value of the last element inside of our stack. So we're just going to do stack.pop, which uh, pops out the last element. So, and then we're also going to change the previous. So head.next previous value is going to have the value of head. Okay, and so that should be it. And why, once we're done with this, we're going to go outside of our while loop. And we're going to return that temporary variable we stored in the beginning. Wait. Okay, so return, I call it start. So return, sorry, return start. Okay, so now let's submit this. All right, so our code got accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have a better solution to solve this question. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I also post uh, projects and stuff like that. So if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.